Hey, how you doing out there in television land? Well, we are trying to do something new today. Typically, what I do is I make a video, not a video, an uh, audio thing, and I post it on You're the Man Now, Dog, but we live in a different world now, don't we? Um, I'm trying to develop some kind of actual, uh, like, you know, trying to be more expressive and open and things of that nature because I am pursuing the role of Lando Calrissian in the uh, Han Solo spinoff. I believe and hope that I do somehow get the role. Um, and the only way that's going to even be possible is if you have acting talent. They're not going to bet this. This is a big money game they're playing. They're not going to bet it on someone who is uh, just never done it, never played in that field. It's like asking someone to fly a kite, not a, you know, who's never done it before, and you're going to have to train them. And if there's one thing you notice about these jobs you get in life is that every job you get, they ask you if you've done the job already. Because the hiring someone who's never done it before that puts them in a place where they have to train you and it's just a pain in the butt so most likely they're looking for someone who's actually had acting experience <sighs> but this is about more than just acting experience they have to have someone on deck who cares and that's the key to this being a successful project to have someone on there who's going to go the long distance it's going to be a long production going to be a lot of aches and pains, a lot of drama. It's going to be a hell. Most movies are not easy to make, I'm pretty sure. And it's a big production. You're going to have a lot of, uh, you know, public exposure, a lot of people's eyes on it. So definitely need someone who's got that, their maturity and their class and all that stuff. And I'm not going to claim any kind of class or maturity but I can't say that I love me some Star Wars. Uh, you know, I have a great passion for for the storyline of Star Wars, for the history of it, for the, you know, what it's brought to cinema, what it's brought to people's lives. Uh, and we're going to continue that with these new movies. We're going to make it even better than what's come before. I think, you know, nothing's going to beat the original trilogy, but we can certainly create movies that are going to be the really the best of, of the of, of the of the art of filmmaking hopefully because um, there is a way to make films that work and those then of course is the also you know, the flip side of that where you don't have a film that works and it's just garbage so what I hope you know if nothing else if, the, if, you know, I don't think even J.J. Abrams aimed to make a better Star Wars movie than the originals. His goal overall was to recapture the glory of Star Wars. To create a film that makes you feel like you are a ten-year-old again watching Star Wars. And, I, you know, you can pick the film apart. So much stuff to pick at it. But overall, I think he succeeded. You watch the film and it feels like you're really just uh, going through all those little books as a kid, Star Wars books, and everything kind of has that element to it. And that's who directed the movie. Direct, the pro director of the movie was a guy who, as a kid, read tons of little Star Wars books and, and played with the toys and all that stuff. And that's what I'm trying to get to the point, you know? Where I can actually, you know, sneak in my own little Star Wars fanboyish quality into the Han Solo spinoff, you know, put in little little quips about uh, just the uh, trying to come up with something, but just the way that Star Wars. Uh, you know, always has those little 1138 uh, 
see, you know, everything has to have some sort of, you know, callback to the original in these movies. Uh, so we'll, we'll make something, we'll make something. I mean, yeah, you can claim, I, I, when, when I'm thinking of dialogue for, for Lando, I'm constantly coming up with stuff like, uh, um, what is, what is, what is, what does Chewbacca mean? Why is he chewing Baca? That's one thing. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure something out. We got a lot more lines to come up with, uh, for him to say, but that's my idea. To constantly sneak in references to the old Star Wars movies so that you can catch them. That's what I want to accomplish with that. If possible, um, but yeah, there would there really is no better person to cast than me. I've always looked like Lando Calrissian. It's never been a choice. I've just been always looking exactly like him. So, and of course, I was there as a kid watching Star Wars episode four, five, and six. You know, um. So, and of course the prequels came along, I was all about them. And you study these movies, you look at the every little ounce of footage and behind the scenes information about them, and truth be told, I did nothing else. I really just dedicated solely my life to Star Wars for years. So, after all that, what else is there to do but give back and do what I think is proper? And, and that is to give the best possible Lando performance on film besides what Billy Dee's capable of. And of course, you have to get Billy Dee's vocal tonations down. His voice is like nobody else's. His voice is not even like mine. My voice is just, you know, some nerdy, weird voice. But his voice is definitely, hey, baby, want to try a Colt 45. And so that's what you got to do there you got to try to capture that swag of Lando and I'll do my best at it I won't make any promises but you know I can definitely emulate his, his act I know who Lando is I know everything about Lando I'm not like I was there man I was like watching this movie as a kid so I know you know the little ticks that he you know the way Billy D does his, his little hand movements there. I liked Lando when I first saw him in the movie. Uh, I was like, this guy is cool. You know, not just cool, but I mean, if I wanted to be like a person one day when I grew up, I'd want to be like Lando. Of course, Luke Skywalker came first, but I didn't have a problem with Lando. He was a cool guy. And he was a hero. You know, he's not, you know, he's like, Lando's smarter than Han Solo. That's the thing that people don't realize. Is that when they first meet and Lando's being a cocky jackass and talking down to Han, I think it's because they have always been like Han's the dumb one, Lando's the smart one. And that's the dynamic that they have there. And he's always dick, you know, trying to, 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 to rib Han. And I hope we get to see a lot of that in the movie. We get to see Lando kind of talking down to Han and saying, Oh, great, I have to deal with you today, kind of thing. So we're going to see some of that. Um, because, you know, if you've ever had, like, that kind of relationship with someone who is smarter than you, you know how they act. They always talk down to you, so I want to definitely incorporate that into the performance. I want to have it be like, Lando's always kind of, like, rolling his eyes around him because Han's not keeping up with him. Um, so, well, hopefully we'll get to that point where we we'll really come up with a really good, uh, film and I'm really serious you know you might watch this video and say oh yeah that's great good luck with that it's a cruel world you're never gonna get anywhere in life but they this thing's really happening they are putting this thing together today they're looking for a young console today they're probably already writing the scripts the dialogue they're coming up with a budget for the film all of these things so at some point down the line, they're going to say, this movie needs a Lando Carizian character to jump in here and do this and do that and so on. And all I can say is, 
what are we waiting for? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm ready to do it right now. Uh, you know, I'll get naked. I'll do measurements. I will, whatever you need. So, that's all I got to say. I mean, what more can you say? You just, you know, you just sit back, relax, and watch what these Hollywood cats are doing. Or are you going to actually kind of hope that they're, they're, they're going to make a good decision here and seek out the proper person for the job who's just basically standing right there in front of them that's me so stay classy